I am sore AF from tricking yesterday. My lower back is wrecked. And Eric Bugenhagen is going to be here in about 10 minutes, so I have to prepare for him somehow, some way, get things working again with my body. I'm really excited to work out with him. But I'm gonna just have to do my best. I'm gonna get all the weights and all the bars set up for him and he's gonna be here in just a second. And we're all gonna meet him together. So I'm really excited, really, really excited. This is gonna be really fucking cool. All right, let's get this garage in shape here. It's already looking pretty clean. And now I want these plates over here and I'm gonna do it with a hair whip transition. All right, all the weights moved over here because this fucker's in my gym. Drink more coffee? Let me get some more coffee. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, we're gonna get some more coffee now. Oh, how many cups of coffee you drink a day? 12. Oh, fuck yeah, okay, oh, finally, finally someone else. Yeah. Is doing me you first. Should, <laughs> do you drink a whole pot every day? Uh, how many pots did I brew two days ago, Ben? Probably six. Six pots? <laughs> I said five. They were like half, they were like half, they were like half pots. Yeah. <laughs> they were like super half, concentrated. A half so pot like stronger. Half yeah. pot stronger. A half pot stronger because you can put more grounds in it. So. Oh, you just put more, why just put more grounds in it and make a whole pot with more grounds? Uh, it's not the same, trust me. More grounds in it, and I'm like, this is probably just a waste of money. Yeah. But if it can add a little extra kick, I'm cool. But if you have cool. that much yeah. coffee on the wall, who gives a shit? Yeah, when you own your own coffee. Yeah, when you have this much coffee, it doesn't matter. And if we need more, we can always get more. But, uh, <laughs> you don't understand how happy I was. When yeah. I, when I texted you, yeah. I was like, can we just drink coffee? Like, I don't know what to think, all yeah. right? Guys, here's the deal, okay? I'm, uh, he's rescuing me from evacuation right now. Hurricane Irma, still a category five storm. Okay, this wasn't even planned. Was this planned? No. No, I'm just here. <laughs> You're just fucking here. It's great. I've been trying to get you in my gym for like fucking two months. This yeah, kid is it's such just... a fucking piece of shit. And uh, you're still coming a couple months from now. Yeah. All right, so we got that I'm schedule. off, I'm off, yeah. I'm free. You're free. Yeah. So this is, uh, and then Tom will be here then. Good. And uh, he'll uh, handle all the really fancy fucking cool editing and have all his fucking creative ideas and stuff. But today, we're just gonna drink a lot of coffee and uh, do as much weight as possible over there and all that stuff I got well, we set up. we might just drink a lot of coffee. We yeah, I mean, that's even, fine. I mean, that's not even yeah, yeah. yeah. You can watch an entire video of us just drinking coffee and getting fucking live! Let's fill them in. So, a couple days ago, yeah. Hurricane Irma, right? Yeah. Hurricane Irma. It is a powerful system. Well, I was gonna stay in Orlando. My wife was really stressing me out. She was uh -huh. yelling at me every single day that I should really get out. Cause she was getting out and I was like, eh. <laughs> I'll probably just be, I'll be cool. I'm like, what's the deal? What's yeah. the big deal? That was some flooding. I was just planning on lifting in my garage and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that would make good footage. I know, that's what I was thinking even. Like, yeah, open the garage, <laughs> I opened the all door. All the wind blowing. Yeah! <laughs> the wind's blowing yeah. me back so I yeah. can lock stuff up. It's like a scene from Forrest Gump with Luke and Dan on the boat. <laughs> Doing search your deadlifts and the, the gust of water yeah. throws me back. <laughs> I looked for hotels in Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. Of course, I was going off of like gyms in the area. So I was like, yeah. oh, here's like here's what am I gonna do? Just go to a hotel? So yeah. I was like, okay. Hardcore gyms in all these places. I'm like, all right, let's check these out. All these hotels are booked up. So I look in North Carolina. I'm like, all right, Charlotte, North Carolina, whatever. And there's rooms. So as I book a room, I also emailed Tom. Yeah. Because I don't know, he emailed me. And I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know. If yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got some guys at my house, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in South Carolina when you email me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, he's like, yeah, you would love to have you. I'm like, all right, now we're making something out of this. Yes. So anyways, um, so then I texted Juji right here. I texted him that I'm going to be up and if you want to train or something like that. And he got back to me, but then they didn't get back to me for like 16 hours. <laughs> And I was like, all right, You think well, that's long? I was you like, think fucking 16 hours is long? God damn, you should see how many emails I gotta go through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were gonna bring up the fact that I didn't get back to your, or we didn't get plans figured out for me coming here for like two months. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. long. But we got a plan now. But now we gotta figure it the out. In fact, it doesn't really fucking matter, you're here anyway. I know. <laughs> it's just, yeah, you're here now, so that's the start. The universe works in mysterious it ways, does. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, for real, like I'm just randomly here. In the, like, it's awesome, man. Yeah. So, you uh, see the clock on the ceiling? Clocks are for measuring waste of time? No, I meant there's a clock oh. on the ceiling. Yeah, I, feel, I just want a fucking clock on the ceiling. That's it, man. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alright, watch it. So, 
So anyways, <laughs> finally get back to me. Okay, I'm not, not, I'm not saying anything I see. I'm just saying, get back to me and we're on. And that's great. So now I'm in my hotel room and uh, I didn't know what to do. So then I worked out at the gym for three hours last night too. And yeah. I couldn't sleep because I was all wired. Yeah. Because when you're on a trip, like I, I normally drink a pot of coffee, but when you're in a hotel, like you can't, I don't know. Can you make coffee in your hotel? You can, right? But they like give you those little tea bags to make the coffee. You gotta right? get creative. You gotta get creative. So anyways, I just bought some pre-work. Uh, like, yeah. I don't normally take it anymore. Yeah, I don't take that I get, shit. Yeah. I got some up there on the shelf for guests, but I just drink coffee. Yeah, coffee's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Don't spill it, be careful. Oh, so it's scalding my tongue, <laughs> scorching. I'll set, the, I'll set the temperature. You didn't know I could control the temperature, did you? No, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm an asshole. I don't have, I don't have a. I have a Mr. Coffee coffee maker, so there's one function. Yeah. Coffee, no coffee. Coffee, yeah. Because he said that we have till noon till 3.30 and we're already going on almost one. Yeah. With one cup of coffee down only and it's, no weight it's, it's gonna take. I better, I better find you some ice cubes. It's about the only way I'm going to get this coffee in your system. I'm not. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get it all down at this temperature. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go grab my pre-workout and take yeah. eight scoops of it. All right, we got to get a table because we just want to fucking sit here and talk and drink coffee and get fucking hyped. I used to do a coffee talk. Very, yeah. it was very brief in my channel, but it was uh, very well. People responded well to it. So. Um, chimps are amazing specimens. All I want to do is fucking talk to you too. This is yeah. like so many fucking questions. He just told me off camera that he's still he's been doing go mad for how long? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah, going fucking on eight years now. Seven years go mad. Oh, yeah, I'm still alive. I need a chair. I don't have a <laughs> I don't have testicular cancer. Uh, <laughs> Not that I know of at least. Yeah. I, I did uh, get a physical and they said that, that, I don't even know what it's called, your vas deferens or something. They said it's thickening up a bit. You already had a kid. What's it matter? That's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly, I was like, <laughs> he told, the doctor told me that and I was like, I got like freaked out right away. He's like, oh, yeah. it's, it's fine. I mean, like the worst thing that happens, it might make it a little bit harder to have a kid. Yeah. Like, I already got one, bro. <laughs> Is your uh, kid a girl or a boy? Girl. Okay, I didn't know. A horse man, I'm 96 percentile. She's bigger than bigger than 96 percent of the other girls her age. Is she on go mad? Uh, of her mom's milk, basically. But, <laughs> yeah, that's she, even better. She drinks a lot of breast milk. Yeah. She's 21 months old too, and people, you know, how people are. They want you to like wean, yeah, wean your baby off and all that. And I was like, no, nah, that's the stuff. That's the magic right there. Keep yeah. that going until she's like, I said forever. Yeah. Nine years old. Is this, she's gonna make her a super stellar athlete? Yeah. That's what I'm all about. I'm worrying about that tuition down the road. You know? <laughs> like, I'm already thinking about what she's gonna do. Pole vault, track, like uh, maybe like a sprinter. I was thinking pole vaulting is good because, you know, it's, I think it's mm -hmm. simple to train the pole vault, right? I mean, yeah. as long as you have explosive hips, do a lot of kettlebell swings, and like she can do all these cool deadlifting variations yeah blow her back out by the age of eight See if i if i have a kid i'd rather have a girl i'd rather have a, a you would i would myself you would no I no would. i agree because the thing is i was very disappointed yeah at first when i found out for the ultrasound uh -huh. so i mean i'm we're getting into the nitty-gritty of this yeah and i was open with my wife about it so i can be open with you guys about it so we got the ultrasound and i remember it um, when it was a girl, my heart just sank. I was like, oh, God. Come on. Oh. Because I'm a guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, like, how guys look at girls when they're, like, teenagers and stuff like that. I'm like, uh -huh. oh, God, I got to deal with that. Like, <laughs> my daughter going on dates and everything. But then, everyone was telling me, like, no, no, it's, when you're a daddy, you want a girl. You want, like, there's, all guys think they want boys right yeah until they have daughters and then they realize how much better it is to have a daughter because like i mean i'm not in this phase yet my daughter loves my wife she loves me but she's like obsessed with my wife and i think that's just because she's like still breastfeeding i think it's great having a daughter just because uh i don't know man I don't, there's just a special bond between a daddy and his daughter and i'm just waiting for the day when she loves me more than my wife <laughs> <laughs> she's obsessed with my wife right now yeah but uh, no, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with her because she's a horse. She's yeah. huge. She's strong. She's got great grip strength. I already have her hanging on the pull-up bar. Yeah? I spot her, yep. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get some footage of that actually. So 21 months you said. It's almost two years, right? Yeah, 21 months. Yeah, yeah almost a two-year-old. Yep, yep. They're gonna be a lot of fun when they're four and five, man. I got two nephews uh, and I couldn't even really 
I didn't know what to do with them. They're not my kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. But when they turned four and five and they started, I, I was able to fuck with their heads a little bit, you yeah. know, say stupid shit and just yeah. like kind of confuse them and it, it just get the reaction I wanted out of them, just saying the absurd stuff I say to people, you know, yeah. just mess with them. And yeah. it was so much fun, man. Yeah, I mean, that's, <clears throat> before I was a papa, I had no idea how to deal with kids. Yeah. You know? But then once you have a kid, you kind of figure out what they like and whatever. What, besides the point, here's the deal. Okay, before this whole sports entertainment biz that I'm in now, I was a, I was a strength coach, you know, personal trainer, doing all that stuff too. That's what I like to do. You know, that's my life. Yeah. Having a baby. If you guys are like me, okay, you got to realize that. Just bring your passion to the kids, right? I have her doing uh, somersaults now, hanging on the pull-up bar, squats, yeah, push-ups. That's fun. <laughs> take her to the park. You don't even take kids to the park too. You're like, ah, like you see a lot of dads and they're sitting there and they're like text messaging and all that stuff. Like, and I get it because they don't know what to do with their kids. Okay, but I take my daughter and I'll put her on the monkey bars and I'll be like, let's go. Come on, let's go. It should be hanging there. Yeah. I'll be like this. I'll be spider and she falls up and I catch her. And I know that each day at the park is making her a little tougher, mm -hmm. a little stronger. Okay. And then I get her climbing the ladders and now she's going down the slides and she's doing it all by herself. Yeah. Because she's trained and she's 21 months. She gets those noob gains. She, 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 yeah. She's getting those noob she's gains. She's got traps and delts already. Yeah. Yeah, she's making noob gains already at the age of 21 months. <laughs> she's such a specimen. Like, I'm so excited for like track and field days in elementary when she just blows out the competition. Yeah. It's going to happen. <laughs> she, she, yeah. I'm, see, that's the stuff that, that makes me super happy to be a father. Yeah. That one day, I mean, I'm already happy. Don't, don't take that the wrong way, but yeah. one day she's going to be just amazing yeah it's fucking cool yeah it's awesome man. <laughs> you just put up like fucking 15 ice cubes in that hot coffee there you did that for me because i asked for it he was giving me scorching hot coffee yeah making me uh limit my my coffee gains basically and i said <clears throat> no, no, no no it doesn't work that way baby <laughs> i needed to consume this stuff put some cubes in here so Maybe not only does he put IV cubes bag. in here, but he brings out this cup in a completely full of ice overflowing from the cup. Yeah, now it. we're talking. He also gave me a wine glass and yeah. put a cold brew. Yeah, off camera, he just drank an entire thing of cold brew coffee. Just like a full glass of, that was a concentrated, that's been in there for a couple weeks there. It's just it tasted soaking. fermented. Yeah, it was. Uh, was it fermented? I don't know, Could've it been. was something good, that's for sure. <laughs> it was good, it was the good stuff. I'm starting to like, you know what, have a click. It's ticking yeah. now. The heart's really feeling that. Yeah. It's gonna be a good train session in the next couple hours here. Look at that clock. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man, the clock is... <laughs> Look up at the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one o'clock. How do you like the chalkboards on the ceiling? Oh, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> Highland Games. Right. Right, I'm gonna go work out with some uh, fucking Highland Games guys here in a couple weeks. You wear a kilt? Yeah, I'm trying to buy one online, actually. I'm, uh, I'm oh, getting really expensive. You know how that stuff is. Well, if I uh, well, if I email the company, they'll give me one for free. <laughs> That'd be like, I wear your kilt in a video. Sort of making your own clan, one man clan for the WWE, right? Can we talk about that on camera? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I wasn't talking about it. I wasn't talking about it for like a year now. Not even yeah. a year. Maybe something like that because they told me to keep it on the DL. I think that's probably just because a lot of people maybe they tell people that they're like in. Yeah, and then whether they like fail their medical screen or something like that, or one thing or another, then they don't make it. Then they don't want to like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, it's like, oh, you're in, but then they announce it, but then something goes wrong, and then they're out, and then it's this big ordeal. Yeah. Um, and then I don't, also don't know about like the the personality of the persona or thing like that. But uh, recently on the NXT Twitter, like they hashtag me, yeah. and like posted a video of me. So what I'm trying to say is. It's never enough! It's never enough for the, the boogs! First of all, stop calling me here. It's the boogs. It's not enough. I mean, it's unofficially announced as of right now. Sick. Unofficially announced. It makes so things easier for you. It, man, it makes things so much easier. Because I've been telling people on my channel, like, for a year or something. Dude, it's been so long. I was like, oh, I got this big opportunity coming up and I don't want to blow it. And everyone's like, what are you training for? What's the opportunity? I'm like, I'll tell you guys. I'm like, just a couple, you know, yeah. like, I'll tell you in a month. And yeah. that's like, that was in September, like last September. Yeah, a year ago. 
a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then I then I did it, and uh, then I found out like that I was in. But they're like, yeah, keep it on the DL, just probably because of like the medical screening, because they do that. It's very intense. Yeah. It's very intense that they do. They do like a sonogram, or is that what it's called? Sonic ultrasound, whatever. Yeah. Of like your heart and everything. What are they checking for? Just everything, dude, because they're, they're your make- your body is theirs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's their asset. Yeah. So they're gonna <laughs> they- you gave me too much fermented coffee. It's going like my brain's infected already. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Putting sentences together. Well, you can. It's kind of like a bell curve thing. Once you go over it, you just go over it again, and you're good. So just, just drink more. Coffee. With more of the fermented yeah. coffee. Are you out of coffee? I'm all. Yeah, I'm almost. Yeah, you get you some more here. <laughs> Fuck shit, now nah, you can fix that. Yeah, the ice cubes. That's for sure. Yeah, that uh, that little bit that was left was so cold that it will probably cool off. Yeah. The, the scorching mm-hmm. hot coffee they just put in here. Let's see what happens. Mmm. Mmm. It's like hot, cold contrast with my lips now. I don't know. You know what is, I mean? is that good or bad? Good. It's going to increase circulation. Okay. Well, since you got here, this is the third pot of coffee. You've been here for about 40 minutes. We're on our, on our uh, fucking... God. Yeah! Are you making that right now? Yeah. Yeah. More. More. All right, we're More. Good. More. Good. More. Good. More. Good. No, okay, you're pretty much centered in frame. Your bicep is. <laughs> you see your biceps. Whoa. Yeah, they're good. They're they're not that it's good. They're not as vascular as yours. That's uh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you. I got something here. Yes. Very vascular, impressive biceps. You're right. But anyways, I've been telling these guys got this big announcement coming up, and I just had you know like stressful. I'm, I'm a new guy, yeah. like with company, so. I'm still not even officially announced. Yeah. But that's, I think it's because of like the name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because once you're this person, you're this person. Right. Right now I'm the Boogs. Right. I'm the Boogs, baby. The Boogs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't call me anything else. Just call me the Boogs for now. All right. The Boogs. <laughs> the Boogs. Because it's not Eric. So that's your wrestling name. The Boogs. Unofficially. B O O G S? We'll see, man. You don't even know how to spell your own name? That's. You're, he doesn't even know how to spell some name? Oh, right now it's B U G E Z. B O B U. B U G E Z? That's right, baby. It looks like buggers. 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 It's the, the boobs, baby. Boobs. Yeah, it's the boobs. Boobs. So, hopefully that sticks. Right. Yeah, I like the boobs. Boobs. It's a good persona, man. Yeah. I mean, it's the real deal. It's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no facade. Well, it's the same way with me, actually, with my personality. Like, off on camera, it's obviously going to be a little amplified because it's like you're on camera. But off camera, I'm the same way. Just, you know, it's not, it's just kind of like sometimes I take a break and relax for a second. But oh. I have the high energy. It's the same thing. It's, yeah, it's just, there's no act. You know what yeah, I mean? There, no, there's no. not. This is really me. This is really you. Now you get to make money being you. Every day you get to yeah, get up, you get, right? to, yeah. you get to produce See, you. See, that's the problem with normal jobs. The yeah. It's the problem with normal jobs. You can't be you. Yeah. You have to go in. You have to shake hands, and you gotta build. You gotta act like someone else. Yeah. Right. It's not you. Right. That's true. So I quit everything. Yeah. So I quit all the other stuff. Yeah. Couldn't do it anymore. It wasn't what me. were you doing before? Listen, bro. All right. When I graduated college, I was a strength coach for the Badgers for two years, and then I moved to Milwaukee for my wife. Yeah. I had to do this for my wife, but now she's returning the favor. She's in Orlando now with me. Ah. See, the, the twist. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Twist. She didn't want to move. She had to. It was my choice. So I moved to Milwaukee, and then I uh, was a strength and conditioning coach at this facility called Next Level. Yeah. So it's a great, great facility, great place. Uh, like JJ Watts, like he is always pushing it. The guy that runs that company there, Brad Arnett, is like his coach. So uh, Anthony Pettis trained there, UFC mm-hmm. champion, former. Yeah, it's a great place. Really yeah. good. It's just since it was a good company or a good, you know, performance center, it didn't pay well. Right. Right. I mean, I literally like, couldn't even, couldn't even, couldn't even live, for real. Like, like you couldn't make a living doing. Couldn't it. make a living. Did you have to work two jobs? No, I just wasn't making enough money. Oh shit. Because my wife moved. She had to go to Milwaukee for a grad program. Yeah. So she wasn't bringing any money in. Insane student loans, private school. Never gonna pay those off. Yeah. Never gonna pay them off. You'll pay them off. I don't even know if I want to pay them off. Like for real, is there even a point? At this at this point, 
When you go to a private school and you have a hundred thousand yeah. dollars in student loans, is there even a point to paying it off? If you make sure of money, why not? What are you gonna do? Go bankrupt, right? If you You have to pay them off, don't you? No, I don't think you have to. I think you can just die with your debt. <laughs> right? I think you honestly can. Because like what are they gonna do? Arrest you? Yeah. All those student loan companies are crooks anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so all that money that she paid off, that little period of not paying the loans, because mm -hmm. like, I can't remember what it was for whatever reason. Oh, she's pregnant and stuff like that, and I can't remember why we weren't even paying. But then basically we paid off like eight grand, and then we didn't pay for a couple months or whatever, and all that eight grand, like, yeah. let's say, I think, I don't even know the exact number, I think it was like $96,000 of debt or something of loans. And we got, you know, paid it for a couple of years, like 8,000 off, and then took that forbearance period, and then it was like at like 98,000. Yeah. So as if we didn't make a debt. Right. Like there was more there's debt. More, yeah. more debt than yeah. From paying it off, there was more debt. Right. <laughs> Point, you can't pay it off. Well, you're gonna be able You to. can't pay it off. You can't pay it off. You can't, you gotta <laughs> die with the debt. <laughs> Right? Okay. It's like uh, it's like if you go to the ER or something, you don't have like insurance, health insurance. Oh something. fuck that shit. Right? It's like yeah. you have like four hundred thousand dollars of debt, like whatever. They have these surgery and stuff. And yeah. You, know, you can't pay it off. You can't. No. You just yeah. die with your debt. Yeah. You can't do anything. Right. Just live with it. Get used to having. Yeah. It. Just live with it, right? Yeah. Just be, give them pay. We're all pay. dependent on something too, as well. You know. I'm starting to feel it. I know. You've been I'm feeling it the whole time. Something. You walked in feeling this way. I can't wait. Yeah! Uh, I got a, hey, I got a boombox that does not skip. How can you focus when the music's skipping? Da, 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 skip. Is it a CD player? No, it's just, just, no, it's not a goddamn CD. I remember those, man. I remember I used to go outside and trick, uh, and had that boombox, uh, a different one before that. Yes. One. And I had a CD player go into it, and the fucking thing would either skip or the aux cable was just flaky. And I do you sit there yeah. and sit the fucking. I still deal. I still deal with that. Yeah. Where the cord, the audio cord. Yeah. And like yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 like the sounds coming out of one speaker. And there's yeah. like no bass. Yeah. Oh, just shit. crank it up, baby. Oh my god. Do you remember Walkmans? Yeah, yeah. I used CD player. Yeah, yeah I remember right. those. Yeah. I used to work out with those. Have this big yeah. fucking turtle shell <laughs> yeah. on my side, and I used to go into the gym, and I used to have a big crate of CDs. I used to and run. I used to sit there. Yeah. Yeah, I used to. I had a CD player, and uh, you would like. You either have to like hold it, like hinge grip, when yeah. you <laughs> skip every. So you would have to like run like this. Yeah. Or you would like stuff in your pocket so that like you see your players like this. Yeah. And it would skip every like every step that you could not. So run. then you would have to like hold it like trying to have your arms move at all yeah. when you run. That's why I was rolling. Yeah. yeah, that's why I stopped running and started rollerblading. <laughs> Is that why? Because it was smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't skipping. That's why. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I also tried like having a backpack and then putting like the Walkman in the backpack. Nothing else in the backpack yeah. but the CD player. And then you like try to you make it so tight that when you run like, like to your body, yeah. you might as well just tape that shit to yourself. God damn. Adjustable dumbbells just not. They're okay for some things. Like I bought this monster dumbbell handle from Spud. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get it, Ari. Gotcha, bitch.
Okay, what the fuck is it for then? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Fuck! <laughs> 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 oh, uh, I wore the same belt as you. Yeah, give that shit. Give it. Give it. Give it. <laughs> $15 Elite FTS band. Yeah, those abs. My god. What a uh, specimen. The fuck this feels weird. Kind of. Alright. And then a back race from Walmart. <laughs> Let's go, kid! Like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is gonna be a 125-pound PR. He's got it! No, seriously, let's go! Go! Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice, don't lie. <laughs> I tried. 
Your eyes don't lie, fucking try. <laughs> Tell them what the fuck they want to know. That they don't know. You guys thinking. want, you want this? Yeah, they fucking you want You want this? They do. It's a mindset. <laughs> For real. It's a mindset. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you why it's a mindset. All right. What the fuck happened? All right, I think you're honestly, this is what you're doing. You're focusing so much on getting tight. Yeah. Like you're coming here and you're doing this. Yeah. And you're doing this. Yeah. Like look here, I'm not doing this. Yeah. Look at me. I'm like, I can't even breathe. Yeah. So what I do, now listen guys, when I'm 520, I think 525 is the most I've done. I don't even remember. That's 100 pounds more than this. Yeah. I might, I'm, I'll try to go for it. What? I'm not peaked, baby. We got a long, we got a long day. But anyways, what you do, when you get here, and you get that big breath in. Yeah? Brace. Brace? And you just do this. You just throw it. Boom! And you just go. You okay. Just because the thing is, it's the stretch reflex. Think about this. Yeah. You and old Clarence Kennedy. Yeah. Clarence Kennedy. Yeah, Clarence. Told you a thing or two. Yeah. I watched your bids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I heard him say, if I'm not mistaken, that pausing reps or whatever makes it like you're doing double the reps, right? Yeah, yeah. So think about this for a second. I don't know if you're front squat or back squat or whatever, I don't remember. Nor do I even care. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. But if you're down here yeah. and you're holding it, it's been a heck of a lot harder to drive up than it is to be like, boom! Yeah, yeah. Of course, right? It's so it's starting the same way for the dead. Huh? Boom! Okay, 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 get out of the I don't wear a normal belt. That shit, that shit wore me out. Yeah. Sing to me, motherfucker. since I've done this, so to think that I'm gonna be better than when I was peak might be foolish. But that is not to say that I can't hit something that's gonna take some grit and some cojones. All right, 40 pounds up, we're going. No. <laughs> what the fuck, what? No, no, no. More than that? Yeah. Four, so oh, yeah. It's 425, right? 425. I was okay. gonna get uh, 465. What are those clips? Are those clips weigh something? Uh, no, don't don't factor that shit in. That's, okay. that's, 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 that's stupid. I know. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I guess I like three fourths of a pound. Yeah. Fuck off. Okay, if those are three fourths of a pound, then two of those equal. Up. No, say together. Quarter. Together, they're three fourths of a pound. Fuck okay. off. <laughs> All right, for five hundred. Five hundred. All right. Five hundred. Oh, so put the ten, tens and two and a half on. Yep. All right, two and a half. It's fucking fun. It's fun. Ah! If it ain't fun, then you're done! Yeah, throw that on, it makes it look better. Is this intense? Yeah, it's intense. Sick. Oh, it's, a, it's a spax weight, man. You gotta make it look like it's more than it is. Mike. Wrapping a towel around your, your waist. <laughs> Pretty much what it feels like. But it works, I think. At least I believe it does. Yeah. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You ever heard that one, Chuji? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, have you heard of this one up here? It's fucking easy! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I never use these, you just break them? Yeah, you just snap them and sniff it. Wait a second after you snap it so it can really kind of. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> yeah, that's potent. <sighs> the eyes don't lie. <laughs> Ah! 
Turn the music on, Juge. Oh! Ah! Crank it up, Dave. As as it goes. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. It's a mindset, motherfucker! Toilet, it's not gonna work. You gotta turn it off. I have it up. It's how it goes. Keep quiet. There you go. Speakers. Grab your speakers. Go grab, <laughs> go grab your speakers. A real lifter doesn't bring his own barbell, he brings his own speakers. <laughs> it's just not loud enough for him. It doesn't look very powerful, but we're gonna, we're gonna make this work, baby. <laughs> A real lifter brings his own speakers. And I don't know, maybe the sound quality is off on that MP3 or whatever you're playing, but. Well, we're about to fix like, it. Yep. We're about to find out here. Yep. There's no way I'm going to hit a PR to a song I can hardly hear. All right? It's, I might as well go to the club fitness that I went to yesterday. I hit my eardrums to feel like they're going to explode. Are you listening? That's good? Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Can, can you hold them up to my head? Are you ashamed? I'm not ashamed. Fuck you. I'm not ashamed! So what was it, 425 that I hit, right? Yeah. That's 425, yeah. Yeah. So 425, no training of this particular lift since March or April or so. Whereas when I first started this particular lift, when I first started it, back in spring, 315 was my starting point. So, I guess, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but it is a mindset! Okay, fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is I've hit 525 as a PR. So coming into this particular session with Juji, I wasn't gonna start back from square one, which is where I started back in spring because I knew you got this. If you've done 525, you do not need to start back with 315. 425 wasn't bad. Wasn't bad, but I think we did a too big of a jump, perhaps, with the five bills, and Juji's speakers are too quiet. <laughs> and because I failed that, it was a mindset. It was okay, wow. Well, if I failed it, it's gonna be hard to hit this again. Now, it's not to say you can't. I've done that so many times. A lot of times, it's just the tunes you play. It very well could just be the tunes, baby. Okay? <laughs> but we dropped. What did we drop to? It took 25 off, 25 yeah, yeah, pounds. Yeah. So 475, and by that point, confidence crushed. So now, you guys don't seem to understand. We're just getting started, baby. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. No dynamic warm up. No banded hip thrusts. No thoracic twists. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 425 pound Zerch deadlift to start. And we're just getting started. Let's drink some coffee. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>